Hey there, my lipstick philosopher cohorts. It is joke week because Jess decided on that. And I'm glad you did pick that one because uh, apparently we're really bad at deciding themes. If you guys have any ideas for themes in the comments, please leave those because we can only come up with so many themes. It was really relevant because in my giveaway that I'm doing on my channel, my main channel, I'm just asking people to give me some of their favorite jokes. One that I really, really liked was, did you hear about the hipster that had hip surgery? It's a really new procedure. You probably haven't heard of it before. And that was really entertaining. I grew up with really kind of vulgar jokes. <laughs> My uncle is really inappropriate, and uh, the kind of jokes that he told us that we've learned over the years are like Helen Keller jokes. One in particular that I remember is, why did Helen Keller's dog kill itself? You would too if your name was Ma. I am so ashamed to be telling this on the internet. And another one he told us that was kind of vulgar is, uh, what do you call a gay dinosaur? Dinosaur ass. <laughs> so inappropriate. Like, I do that's what she said a lot. Like, Andy can attest to this. I kind of never give up the that's what she said jokes. But I've never been one to, like, make up jokes or tell jokes all the time. I've just kind of been the, the funny one. Like, my sister and I, we've always just been, like, the funny friend. And, and I've gotten pretty good at, like, reciting comedians jokes like some of my favorite comedians if you don't know these comedians although you probably already do um check them out Patton oswald is definitely like my favorite comedian he tells this really great bit about um him and his wife walking in on an orgy i'll leave up to the imagination maria bamford is another one of my favorite comedians she does the coolest voices my favorite bit of hers is uh her mother's non sequiturs that she leaves on her answering machine nothing is more frightening and suspenseful than a non sequitur left on my answering machine by my mother. Hey Maria, it's your mom. Your father, he, he slapped your Uncle Bill on the back and he had this huge sebaceous cyst and there's just this cottage cheese stuff going everywhere and I am sending you an article on Carol Burnett. Hey Maria, it's your mom. Guess who I saw at the drugstore the other day? Your third grade teacher, Patty, and her life partner, Gretchen. She just had a hysterectomy and they're there picking up some lubricant, which is interesting because I didn't think in that kind of relationship you really had a lot of penetration. And I want to know when you're coming to visit. Not anytime soon, Madre. Not anytime soon. I don't necessarily come up with the jokes, but I listen to a lot of funny jokes and I can recite them rather well. But yeah, so Patton Oswalt, Maria Bamford, Bo Burnham is another really genius one. He's younger than me and he does like music and rap. Aziz Ansari is another genius one. Uh, Chris Hardwick, who I have met personally, is also hilarious. Brian Regan has the greatest long convoluted comedic stories. He kicks Dane Cook's ass on those. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed my impersonations and my vulgar jokes. Bye guys!